Hey everyone, it's Robert. So Yoru just came out this morning with episode two and I've been making lineups with him the entire day. So I'm gonna be showing you all of the teleport lineups that I've learned on Ascent. We're gonna start off with attack because Yoru is a duelist and he kind of thrives on attacking. And then I'm also going to show you some defensive lineups with this teleport ability that you can do in game. A quick few notes that I want to say before we start here. Yoru's teleport ability isn't as linear as it seems. So let me explain. The way your teleporter travels changes a lot based on where your crosshair placement is, like how high, how low it is, how close it is to the first wall that it collides with. So let me show you an example here. Look at the minimap at the top left. And the front of that little icon is exactly like the direction that the teleporter is facing and headed. So despite throwing it at this wall and thinking that it would ride it all the way down and end up here, it stops before it even gets there because the teleporter is no longer facing this way because over time it curves and curves and turns and turns and turns. And now the center of it is facing directly into this wall. So now it's just going like this, as if you were just holding the W key. So knowing that, you can abuse this mechanic and do a lot of crazy things with certain angles and walls on the map that I think a lot of people haven't really realized and taken into consideration yet. Also, your teleporter is shootable. So as you're throwing it out in some of these, you're going to need to defend it, whether that be with flashes or your teammate smokes, or you want to like shoot and distract them while it travels. However you want to do it, but just know that your teleporter is shootable. I think the distance is about a cypher tripwire. Just take that into consideration as you're doing some of these lineups, especially on the defense side of things, because they're going to be passing by a lot of people. So first, let's start with this attack lineups on B side. The very, very first one that I wanted to show you guys is actually through mid. So this is, I think, a perfect example of with the right lineups and with the right walls and collision, the things you can do with Yoru's teleportability. The lineup is really easy to do once you get the hang of it. So you wanna get as deep into this corner as possible. And then at the bottom left, where it shows my HP bar, at the end of the line, you want to get it right underneath this gray dot on the gray brick and have it hang over a little bit on the line where the gray brick and the brown brick meet. And then throw it out and look where this teleporter goes. Collides with this wall. Now this is the trick here. It collides with this wall curves and gets you all the way into their spawn the b main ones are pretty easy i mean of course the logs one is really easy to do you just throw it out and you know that's, that's just gonna get you straight into logs probably worth flashing your way in there another more interesting one you could do is like maybe flash your cross here just get as deep as you can in this corner hang a little bit to the left Lineup isn't that perfect, honestly. It's really easy to do. Aim around the middle of this wall, throw it out. And that's going to get you all the way in Boathouse. There's another one you can do out of B main. This one's a bit more risky because you have to be peeking in order to throw it. As you're peeking and crossing with, this with your flash going off, you want to just throw it anywhere up against this wall. It doesn't really matter. This one's... Easy to hit as long as you're covered from market and CT. So that's what it looks like. And that's just going to get you up into stairs. This next one is also extremely powerful, in my opinion. If you're attacking from mid. You want to just line up on these two gray dots here. Get your crosshair just about like the center. Aim just to the right of like this dark patch in this top middle diamond. Right about there. Throw it out. It's going to go all the way down cat. Up through mid. And get you all the way into market. This next one is a lot more risky. Maybe you can have a smoke down mid, smoke down cat. You want to line up against this dirt spot on the, on the ground. And then right where this empty patch is, aim here. And then aim just the top left of this door. It's going to go all the way down cat. and that's gonna get you into tree. This next one is for attacking on A. You're gonna to wanna to come into A main, aim just about in the center of this door. It's not that hard to hit. Aim just the top right of this brick, throw it. Maybe flash yourself into like, stop them from shooting it. Let it get all the way into hell. And you're here. This next one is also extremely powerful in my opinion. You're gonna to have to just flash your crossover, which isn't that big of a deal. Just get over. You're going to want to come to the top of these stairs and then aim right in the middle 
of this box here. Just throw it out. That's going to teleport all the way through. Ride these walls and get you all the way into tree. From wine. So let's say you guys are doing a cap push. Your team's pushing on the A site. And you get deep in this corner. Just aim roughly in this direction. It doesn't really matter that much. Throw it out. That's going to go all the way through. Tree. Into their spawn. Right about there. You can catch the people rotating from B. The people from mid. All right, so let's get started on defense now. This next one's a bit more tricky, but it lands you deeper into B lobby. So it's a bit more of a safer play, in my opinion. Look at this tile on the ground. To the top left, there's going to be this dot right there. And then you're going to want to go to the, to the top left brick of this dot in the center of it, right about here. And then you really want to make sure that you're aiming just on the edge of this wall because you need this wall for it to turn and recenter itself in order to get past this yeah. building here otherwise it's just going to collide and go into yeah. this corner so you, you want it to turn enough left to where it gets past yeah. this building and ends up back there so let me show you what that looks like right about there at this corner aim just to the edge of this wall right about the middle that's going to get you all the way deep into b lobby Another good play is just anchoring your teleporter and logs and just doing whatever, pushing out, maybe looking for a quick pick here, TP back. You can also anchor it for mid. Right when the round starts, throw it over into tiles. Again, you're going to want to flash yourself in on this one. Second here at pop, TP. This next one's a bit hard to pull off. You're going to need a smoke in top mid. Get in this corner. This next one is from Cat to Tile Spawn. Right when the round starts, you're gonna wanna flash yourself in. You're gonna have to do this one pretty quick. Line yourself up roughly around the edge of this box here. And then aim just above the corner of this wall. Throw it out. That's gonna get you all the way back behind this hut. This one is also really strong. You're going to need to defend it with some flashes, but it's definitely doable. It'll get you from this gate at spawn all the way into their spawn. So you're going to want to stand roughly around this line here. And then right at the top left corner of this door, if you just move to the left, you'll see like a dark spot here. Just a little bit to the right of that. Right about there. Throw it out. That's going to go all the way through. The trick is for it to collide with this wall and change it to this direction. Collide with that wall. Get into spawn. And you're now on their flank. There's a wine play you can do. Of course, this one's really not hard to hit. Literally just stand here, throw it anywhere against this wall. This one's kind of obvious. Flash in. You're in one. This next one is if you're retaking A. Kind of a risky play, but... It's doable. So what you want to do is line up with this yellow tape here and then aim at this yellow tape on the wall as well. Throw it out. That's going to take you all the way through a heaven, through a site, all the way into a main. Kind of exposed, especially if there's a guy playing a main and somebody playing gen. But maybe if you throw it on like some footsteps here, then throw it out. Maybe like throw a flash or two. Kind of mess with them a little bit. Activate your footsteps. Have them all looking heaven. This guy will be peeking heaven. Then you kill him here, you know. So there's there's a lot of different things you can do to kind of like protect your teleporter. I know I say it a lot, but it's it's really, really important. This next one is for B retake. Now B is a, a lot harder to retake than A is in my opinion. You're going to want to flash your cross here. And then as you're crossing over, throw a TP back in that corner. Walk this way. Assuming they don't see your TP. Drop some footsteps. Maybe throw a flash and just like confirm the... Push, drop footsteps again. TP back in this corner, have them all looking there. 
if you get the god boat house that's gonna do it for me and all the lineups i have for ascent so far i'm sure i'll find a bunch more as i continue to play him i'll be playing him a ton over on my live stream twitch.tv slash robert rayhart underscore if you want to come through i stream almost every single day there be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications i'm gonna be making lineups like this for all the maps in valorant drop a like if you enjoyed and a comment on what else you guys want to see and i'll see you guys in the next video